Всем привет! And welcome to another video with me, Connor Klein. This is the Czar Experience. And yes, you did read the title of this one correctly. It is five reasons never to date a Belarusian girl. Now, before you get triggered by that and think that I'm hating unfairly on the Belarusians, make sure that you've actually watched the previous video. This is a sequel to my video, Five Reasons to Date a Belarusian. So I'm being fair and balanced and giving you full disclosure about the pros and cons to coming to Belarus and dating the local girls. I'm actually today in Gomo, which is Belarus's second city. So let's go and take a walk around and I'll fill you in on the five reasons that you should consider not dating the girls here. Pashli. Sar <laughs> Experience. So I have to actually say that I struggle a bit to come up with the five reasons not to date a Belarusian. Uh, in contrast to Ukraine where my friends gave me like about 20 re reasons straight away and continue to supply me more reasons after the first one. That's why I made a sequel. Mm. May even go ahead and make more sequels to that series. But for Belarus actually we kind of struggle to find really uh, more than one or two. So after having a lot more reference experiences and spent a lot more time in the country over the last year finally come up with these five but on the whole I'm of course very positive about Belarusian girls but these reasons are more like some food for thought. So reason number one gotta say that it appears that in Belarus amongst girls at least that me and my friends have met infidelity seems to be a bit of an issue because you know I go on Instagram and I start to see a lot of photos of girls I've been with here with other guys that appear to be their boyfriend and that didn't seem to be an issue and at times they're just brazen about it, they don't really care. Uh, at other times they seem they actually don't let me see their Instagram so I don't find out that they actually have a boyfriend uh, here. So that seems to be happening a lot more to me and my friends than in other countries that we travel to around the world and in Eastern Europe even more than in Ukraine which I wouldn't rate very high on the fidelity uh, spectrum either so if that is something that's important to you because maybe you're considering uh, dating a Belarusian girl over the long term or getting married or something eventually in the future you might want to consider that you want that fidelity does not seem to be very high on the other hand just here to have fun not gonna be a big issue so that's reason number one So let's talk about reason number two why you might consider never to date a Belarusian and that's something that's a little bit maybe uncomfortable to talk about. So one thing that I've noticed is in general Belarusian girls on these kind of crazy weekend nights don't seem to be particularly concerned about whether uh, whether I use protection or not, whether I use a condom or not when we have sex and that makes me think of course well if they're not so concerned about it, not asking about it, trying to uh, copulate before I even have a chance to put on a condom, then it's probably indicative of a pattern of behavior, which means that protection and um, protecting yourself from STDs is not something that's a huge concern for them in general. Definitely make sure that you bring your own condoms and put them on and always insist that just looking out for you, your Irish boy here. Stay safe. Don't rely on the Belarusians uh, to be in, in that point of view. I got a nice reaction from some Belarusian girls over there. Maybe they want to comment on this. <laughs> so in my previous video, Five Reasons to Date a Belarusian, I talk about how, well, basically they're super enthusiastic about foreigners and basically hooking up and having maybe casual sex is pretty easy. So that might sound great, but actually the, com the kind of flip side to that is that when Belarusian girls tend to go on a lot of dates or start to get to know you and take you seriously, which can be uh, really, really quick, uh, they tend to take it maybe a little bit too seriously compared to what probably you're used to. And it will be very, very soon that they're talking about like, are you gonna 
get married, have kids, all that kind of stuff. And that might be that might be great or that might be really bad depending how you view things uh, and how fast you want to go. But one thing to consider on top of that is that you know visa free at the moment, and I'm speaking in May 2019, is just 90 days per year. And unless you're living in a country where Belarusians can also travel visa free, it's actually going to be very hard to spend a lot of time together. So whilst the hooking up phase or come here and getting to know lots of girls is pretty cool and pretty easy. Actually, continuing on with the relationship when you leave Belarus, it's gonna be a bit harder than you might have expected and the girls are gonna take it uber seriously in uh, my experience and my friends' ex experience here. Uh, there isn't much of a courting period in Belarus before things become very serious and that can present a new set of problems. So just be aware of that uh, as a potential for uh, complicating your life going forward. So reason number four about why you should not date a Belarusian and consider like the downsides to it is a flakiness. Now I referred to this also in the video on Ukraine and here it's pretty similar. Uh, girls in the society in general don't like to give direct answers like no, I'm not interested or maybe they've just created another, you know, a series of options for themselves and in general flakiness, uh, flaking on dates and stuff like that is also an issue here in Belarus. Uh, in the Ukraine video, I gave you the advice that you might want to, you know, stagger three dates within the space of an hour just because in all likelihood, uh, probably only one of three would show up. So that's something to consider. So the fifth and final reason why you should be, that you should be aware of is a negative with a dating a Belarusian potentially is the fact that on the whole Belarusian girls can be a little bit boring. Yes. Could definitely compare to their neighbors in countries around them. Uh, Belarus is a very predictable country. It's as predictable as the trains in Switzerland running on time basically and as a result girls don't tend to be very spontaneous also they don't get to travel as much as other nationalities because obviously the economic situation and the fact that they need a lot of visas to travel as a result they don't tend to have the world experience that you're gonna find if you travel to other countries especially in Western Europe and even compared to Ukraine which of course has visa free uh, to the Schengen area so they can actually travel for six months of the year there that is something that I have noticed and my friends have noticed that on the whole, Belarusians can be just a tad, tad, tad bit dull. Here we are at the end of another video. You've made it to the end of it. And I'm hanging out here in Odessa Mama, just that Red Lion Club, who are graciously hosting me. It's a luxury club here that just opened in Odessa for the summer. Uh, it is June 2019. And this is the kind of scene that you can have hanging out here in luxury clubs by the shores of the Black Sea, of course, having fun, having an unforgettable experience. And I want to ask you, what are you doing next weekend? Because it could be you. You could be here at this club with me living this our experience. So the way you can do that is by writing to me on my email at connorcline.zarexperience.com or DMing me on Instagram. My handle is Zara Experience. We're gonna jump on a 10 minute strategy call for free. We're gonna work out when we can make it happen. And if that all coincides with my expectations, your expectations, it could be you next weekend here. See you in the next video. This Vidanya Dopobachna from Odessa, Ukraine. Zara Experience.